So there everyone, this is Anthony Nathaniel here again, and go by Kishan Soul. And this episode we are going to be dealing with graphics package. Now a graphics package is um, a kind of package that you should be familiar with. They are kind of the ones that stand out in our user interface. They are the ones that produce the source of all every um, every um, widget, all these um, designs, all these texts, all these icons that we see on your desktop and your post WIMP features of your mobile phone. So I talk about post WIMP features and basically that means um, the process of, um, of taking WIMP um, a step further to integrate it with embedded systems and small micro computers like phone, telephone and mobile phone. Now basically WIMP means Windows Python menu and pointers, pointing device. Now basically there are different um, types of graphics packages. Now these graphic packages, they are simply used to manipulate, create, and um, store computer graphics. And th th that is why we need a graphics card. Now graphics is something that is not very straightforward. So that's why you need its own graphics card. It is quite very difficult for the processor to handle what graphics function along with its inherent function. So that's why most computers make it with a graphics card. So and then these computers, notebook computers and um, let's say um, workstations that have um, high memory and high capacity most of them have these cards so they are mostly used for video editing and um, advanced movie production but when you have just a laptop just a normal laptop you might not be able to do all this advanced production as well or, or both but you have to upgrade your operating system so basically let's start by dividing by defining graphics so a computer graphics are um, the um, things that are created using computer and more generally then you have the representation or manipulation of image data. So basically, when you create something with computer and then you manipulate it, it's called a graphics. Now, this computer graphics is actually called a computer graphics. There are different types of graphic packages, and these packages, what they do is they are going to uh, take your inputs and then convert them to computer graphics. So they are kind of graphics creators. So examples of those are Paint, we have Corel Draw, it's kind of like a very common one. We have Adobe Photoshop. We have Harvard Graphics, we have Ventura, Photoshop Pro, Adobe Paint, Page Maker. Now, there are different features of uh, the um, graphics package. For the first one, you have um, your drawing window. Now, this is Corel Draw, just in case you don't know. Now, in this Corel Draw, we have this rectangle. This rectangle here, that I have highlighted here, this rectangle is called the outside. So, but the, the thing is, when you are typing stuff, you still show you outside the rectangle. But this rectangle is not part of what is being um, being done. So it's kind of a little bit um, strict. So this rectangle is basically where you get what you do. And outside the rectangle, nada. Next, we have um, the um, rule of windows. And most of the function of rule of windows has been replaced by the more conventional property bar. So this property bar, you can call it um, a new um, bar that produces most of the shortcuts. So this property bar is kind of like a, 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 a shortcut for many functions and Presentation packages. We we'll also have the Docker. So next to Corel Draw is the screen feature called the Docker. So the Docker is a variation of roll of but differ in that they can be docked onto the internal interface, into the interface here. Right? So basically, Docker's are variants that are used for kind of accessing um, um, data and then storing it. So we we'll also have the um, color palette. Color palette basically picks a variety of colors, and then you will drop when you when you click on the when you control click on a particular color and then you drop it on the um, um, on the working area or the or the or the particular object you are working on that is um, kind of one application of the color palette also have the page counter counter the standard toolbar and so on and so forth so there are different types of tools that can be found in the um, I didn't talk about this but this is kind of like the um, let's call it the toolbox so the toolbox is kind of like that um, vertical, um, vertical one column um, entry. So it contains a lot of tools. You can pick from as much as you can. So the tools, tools are lines from up to the um, to the left. So basically, um, you have the pick tool. So the pick tool is used for selecting objects. Then you have the shape tool, which is used for shaping objects. So even if you don't understand what I'm trying to say, you can still be patient when you talk about the video the practical itself so this is basically what i'm talking about this is the vertical layer so it's even shown here you have the commands just commit the commands 
will be able to get what you need out of the video. Okay, so so we have you have the shape tool, you have zoom tool, you have the diagram diagram tool. So this one I use to draw that and and there are different types. We have the rectangle to edit polygonal polygon to so on and so forth. So these are different tools that are available currently. So basically when you want to open Corel Draw application, all you need to do is um, you click on the start button as usual, you point to all programs and then you point to Corel Draw and click save step. Then you select it, save it, open, then you open your files or you can save the files that you have not um, been able to save. So now this is where we round it up for this video. In summary, we talk about the presentation packages, we talk about how important presentation is and how um, presentation packages are used um, in various different um, areas of our lives. And then we'll talk about different features of presentation packages. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next episode. Thank you for watching.